Hello and good day. Welcome to our video channel, God's Promises. And today's video, Bible verse, Psalm 51. Let's get started now. Psalm 51 is a powerful and emotional psalm that speaks of repentance and restoration. It is traditionally attributed to King David and was written after he had sinned with Bathsheba. In this essay, we will explore the meaning and symbolism of each verse of Psalm 51. Verse 1. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion blot out my transgressions. This verse speaks of the need for God's mercy and forgiveness. It acknowledges that we have sinned and fallen short of God's standard, but it asks for God's unfailing love and compassion to blot out our transgressions. This verse teaches us to seek God's forgiveness and to trust in His mercy and love. Verse 2. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. This verse continues to speak of the need for forgiveness and restoration. It acknowledges the depth of our sin and asks God to wash it away and cleanse us from it. This verse teaches us to acknowledge the extent of our sin and to seek God's cleansing and restoration. Verse 3. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. This verse speaks of the awareness and conviction that comes with recognizing our sin. It acknowledges that we cannot hide from our wrongdoing and that our sin is always before us. This verse teaches us to acknowledge our sin and to seek God's forgiveness and restoration. Verse 4. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. This verse speaks of the recognition that our sin is ultimately against God. It acknowledges that our wrongdoing is evil in God's sight and that He is justified in judging us. This verse teaches us to recognize the seriousness of our sin and to seek God's forgiveness and restoration. Verse 5. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. This verse speaks of the recognition that we are born with a sinful nature. It acknowledges that sin is a part of our human condition and that we are in need of God's grace and forgiveness. This verse teaches us to recognize the depth of our need for God's mercy and restoration. Verse 6. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. This verse speaks of God's desire for us to be faithful and wise from the very beginning of our lives. It acknowledges that God has a plan and purpose for us and that He desires us to live according to His wisdom. This verse teaches us to seek God's wisdom and to live according to His purpose for our lives. Verse 7. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. This verse continues to speak of the need for cleansing and restoration. It uses the imagery of hyssop and snow to describe the extent of the cleansing that is needed. This verse teaches us to seek God's complete cleansing and restoration. Verse 8. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. This verse speaks of the desire for joy and gladness after repentance and restoration. It acknowledges the pain and brokenness that comes with recognizing our sin, but it expresses the hope for healing and restoration. This verse teaches us to trust in God's ability to heal and restore us. Verse 9. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. This verse speaks of the desire for God to forgive and forget our sins. It acknowledges the weight and burden of our wrongdoing, but it expresses the hope for God's forgiveness and mercy. This verse teaches us to trust in God's ability to forgive and to seek His mercy and restoration. Verse 10. Create in me a pure heart, O God and renew a steadfast spirit within me. This verse speaks of the need for a pure heart and a steadfast spirit. It acknowledges the need for a complete transformation from our sinful nature to a new nature that is aligned with God's will. This verse teaches us to seek God's transformation and to desire a heart that is pure and a spirit that is steadfast. Verse 11. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. This verse speaks of the fear of being separated from God's presence and the Holy Spirit. 
It acknowledges the need for God's guidance and presence in our lives and expresses the desire to maintain a close relationship with Him. This verse teaches us to value our relationship with God and to seek His presence and guidance in our lives. Verse 12. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. This verse speaks of the desire for joy and a willing spirit after repentance and restoration. It acknowledges the need for God's sustaining power and expresses the hope for ongoing transformation and growth. This verse teaches us to seek God's joy and transformation and to trust in His ability to sustain us. Verse 13. Then I will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will turn back to you. This verse speaks of the desire to use our experience of repentance and restoration to help others turn back to God. It acknowledges the power of our testimony and the importance of sharing our faith with others. This verse teaches us to share our faith with others and to use our experiences to help others find their way back to God. Verse 14. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. This verse speaks of the desire for deliverance and freedom from the guilt of our sin. It acknowledges that God is our Savior and expresses the desire to praise Him for His righteousness. This verse teaches us to seek God's deliverance and to praise Him for His righteousness. Verse 15. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. This verse speaks of the desire to praise and worship God with our words. It acknowledges that our words have power and expresses the desire to use our words to glorify God. This verse teaches us to use our words to praise and worship God. Verse 16. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. This verse speaks of the recognition that our outward actions do not always reflect our heart's desire. It acknowledges that God desires a true and sincere heart and expresses the need for inward transformation. This verse teaches us to value a sincere heart and to seek inward transformation. Verse 17. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. This verse speaks of the recognition that a broken and contrite heart is what God desires. It acknowledges that true repentance and transformation begins with a humble and contrite heart. This verse teaches us to value humility and to seek a contrite heart. In conclusion, Psalm 51 is a powerful psalm that speaks of repentance, forgiveness, and restoration. It teaches us to acknowledge our sin, to seek God's forgiveness and restoration, and to desire a pure heart and a steadfast spirit. It also teaches us to value our relationship with God, to use our experiences to help others, and to praise and worship God with our words. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more inspirational content. See you in the next video. Wishing you a very happy day.